see, see, y'all, they gonna learn. They gonna learn. What the, what, what's the saying? What's the saying? Don't, don't wake a sleeping giant or something like that. This man is from the hood. You gotta understand. Because we keep it professional. Don't mean that, that the hood side is right. It's right, right around the corner. Keep doing this. Keep doing this. And Lamar just, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to send out a little tweet. Just to show them. What did what, 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 you say, Lamar? It's better to have them kids out there having fun than playing with guns and uh, emoji. So, so next year, we running it back even more fun. I didn't even hear my intro. Let's get to it. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for love. Y'all, y'all know if if you already subscribed, follow, hit hit that subscribe, please. But uh, hit that like too, the, the little thump, yeah. Um, you know when I get hype, I can't. I gotta. Gotta calm it down, okay? Calm it down. I seen Shannon Sharp running his mouth. I see, I see so many people, even some Raven flock people, running their mouth. And some, some is on the same page as me. It's like, I don't see what the problem is. He's having fun with his friends, with the kids, mainly the kids. That's the that is the whole purpose of this. It's the kids. And it and this generation coming up, it's even more hard and more chaotic. People are just doing crazy things. You don't hear no bad stories about Lamar. But they got to just nitpick. They got to find something to nitpick. As I was saying, I'm trying to keep calm now. I saw Shannon Sharp was talking about, I didn't even really look at the whole video. I said, I, heard, I just kind of fast forward a little bit. And I heard what he said and I was like, get, get this off. I don't, I don't want this negativity. Try to protect you. You know, you got to protect, you got a contract coming up. You need, I understand you want to do, you got a contract coming up. Got to be responsible. PFT talking about he needs an agent. It's, I'm sitting here like, God created us to all be different in our own kind and still to love each other and support each other. The media continually, a lot of media members continually show hate to this man. I didn't see no video of people saying this is a great thing Lamar doing for kids in Florida and just kids in general. Kids out there in Baltimore. Literally taking time out of his busy schedule to do this. You didn't hear them bringing up. I didn't see none of that footage. Uh, they, they show all the footage of him, you know, playing with his homies, playing wide receiver, playing cornerback. They show that, but they didn't show when all the kids rushed to him when he got out of his car.
they didn't show the joy on these kid faces. And some of these kids can be something very inspiring later in life. Just for that one moment. Just because of that one moment. All because of that dude. Because they parents took time out of their day, their busy schedule, no telling what the parents had to go through to get to that park or whatever, but they did it in just for their kid. Just to show appreciation to Lamar. You know that kids went crazy. Because when I seen them kids rushing him, I'm like, it's grown adults to be rushing him like that. Half the time, you know, they just trying to get an autograph to get some, some money. But this man has been such a great role model. And it just, it's ridiculous, y'all. It really is just ridiculous. And you know, they probably, they probably going to say something about what his tweet. You know, they gonna bring that up. No, Lamar, we just trying to say nothing's wrong with giving them back the community. This this my, you know, my little media, Shannon Sharp voice. We ain't trying to say nothing's wrong with giving them back to the community. We just saying be careful. Anything can happen. You can walk outside your door if something can happen. Heck, in my old neighborhood, it happened plenty of times. People was inside their house. Doors got kicked into. Freaking cars got run into uh, freaking houses. Because of drunk drivers and stuff like that. Or just losing control of their car. It's craziness everywhere. This man is still being careful. I seen security there. I seen um, ambulance there. And it's just like, really? Just... I don't get it, y'all. Do you, do you, I don't get it. And it's just like what Cass tweeted out. If this was any other quarterback, they'd be saying, oh, look what he did for the community. This is so awesome. But Lamar? Oh, we're going to nitpick. We ain't going to say nothing about um, these other quarterbacks doing all these rock climbing and what was it playing basketball. When they contract is on the line, and wide receivers, every other position. I know the quarterback is one of the most important, but when you will start wide receiver, start pass rush, all of that, you sitting there playing basketball, doing 360 dunks. Shout out to DK Metcalf. He was running track. I didn't see they was covering that. Somehow. He did real good. He could have messed up his leg or something. Hamstring injuries or something. You never know. They ain't say none of that. They ain't, they ain't show that no negativity I didn't see. But when it comes to Lamar, that negativity comes around right around that corner. And it's getting ridiculous. And it's sad. So, shout out to Lamar. I'd be surprised if you ever see this video. But shout out to you and your family. Keep doing your thing. Keep showing these haters, no matter what they say, you're going to continue to do your thing as you've been doing since you was a kid and show them that your, your mom, strong black woman, raised a strong black man. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Have a good one.